Mark and Trina Hankins invite you to a Holy Ghost meeting, April 23rd through the 25th in Alexandria, Louisiana. There are certain gifts and callings that aren't activated until you are saturated with the Holy Spirit. You won't want to miss this event with powerful praise and worship, teaching in the morning services on the person and work of the Holy Spirit, and Holy Spirit demonstration in the evening services. Join us April 23rd through the 25th. For more information and to register, visit markhankins.org. It's now time for Mark Hankins. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Welcome to the program today. I'm Mark Hankins, and this is my wife, Trina, and we are studying all this week on the subject of revolutionary revelation. And this is our book called Revolutionary Revelation, Breaking Barriers. Every breakthrough in faith comes from a breakthrough in revelation knowledge. So this is our offer for you this week. So we encourage you to call the office and say, I want that book on revolutionary revelation for your offering of any amount. We'll send it to you. And wow, we're expecting some breakthroughs in revelation knowledge, breakthroughs in faith. And so we're having a wonderful time. I'm talking about revolutionary revelation. I'm enjoying every minute of it. You know, uh, Colossians chapter 2 yes. and verse 3 yes. says, For in Christ, in Him, mm -hmm. dwells all the treasures of wisdom. wisdom and knowledge. In other words, in Christ, everything you could be fascinated about knowing, everything mm. you need to know, yes. uh, the wisdom of God is all stored up in Christ. And you and I have been granted access to all that through the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. And so this uh, Ephesians 1 prayer is the prayer we're looking at because we just want every believer just to start a revival of praying for revolutionary revelation. <laughs> well, the scriptures in several places says that the knowledge of the Lord will fill all the earth in yeah. one place like the water comes yeah. to see the glory the of the Lord, the, of the knowledge glory. of the glory yeah. of the Lord. Wow. So if we pray this prayer, I believe it's a prayer that God wants us to pray. He wants to fill your life. He wants to fill your world. He wants to fill our mm. nation with his wow. knowledge, yeah. the knowledge of God. All yeah. right, so we'll jump into Ephesians chapter 1. This may be the first day you caught us, but we've been talking every day about this. Ephesians chapter 1, and that prayer, and uh, Dad Hagen, Kenneth E. Hagen, uh, when I was a teenager, 17 years old, he came to my dad's church. He said, pray the Ephesians 1 prayer every day. Don't miss a day, mm -hmm. once or twice a day uh, for at least six months. Well, that's been going on for 47 years. Father God, God, here's our prayer. God, I'm asking you to give unto me yeah. the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God, that the eyes of my heart, and my understanding would be flooded with light so I can see and so I can know. So the eyes of my heart be enlightened so I can know the hope of your calling, the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints, and what is exceeding greatness of your power towards us who believe according to the working of your mighty power, which you wrought in Christ when you raised him from the dead and set him at your own right hand in heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And you put all things things under his feet gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that fills all in all. This prayer in Ephesians chapter one, he says, to know the call of God, the high calling of God. Number two, to know the inheritance. The inheritance means that you and I are an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. Uh, one definition is because we have 
equal position, then we have equal possession. In other words, God did in Christ what he wanted to do in every man, in every believer, when you made Jesus your Lord. The inheritance, wow, an heir of God, a joint heir with Christ, number one, the call, number two, the inheritance, and then number three is the tremendous power Wow, that's available to every believer. So Paul really wanted every believer to see the same thing that he saw in Christ and same thing, what we call Paul's revelation. He wanted you and I as believers to see the same thing. Well, if we see the same thing, we're going to get the same results. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And you know, we're followers of Christ. Yeah. We're hungry for whatever he has he is who he is, yeah. what he knows, what he's doing. Jesus is alive. Yeah. He's still moving. He's still working. There's still a plan that's unfolding. Mm. So we want to know what it is. We want to walk in step with what he is wow. doing in heaven. We want to see that accomplished in the earth. And so this prayer is our connection to his plan wow. and his purpose for each individual person mm. in our marriages, in our families, in our nation, whatever it mm. is. But God has a plan. The devil doesn't want you to hit it, but God does. And wow. Jesus himself has prayed for us. He prayed in John 17 yeah. that we would know him. Yeah. So that word know is so powerful. Yeah. It's an intimate uh, knowledge of him. And in knowing mm. him, we find our destiny. Yeah. In knowing him, yeah. we find our calling. Yeah. In knowing him, we know our inheritance yeah. and we experience the yeah. power that outflows him. And Paul connected the resurrection yeah. wow. power in knowing Christ. So it doesn't matter what we're facing, yeah. doesn't matter a uh, failure or whatever, hopeless situation. Yeah. When we pray this prayer, hmm. it will open up the power of resurrection and it will change yeah. our lives. It really will. Yeah. And so he says, I'm praying for you for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Well, when I was a teenager, yeah. I thought my greatest need was dedication. Uh, it wasn't dedicated enough, but really Paul's not praying for dedication here. He's praying for revelation. I know. The Sometimes eyes of our heart. Will you be you look at light. people in your family. Excuse yeah. me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But you say, man, why don't they do better? Don't they know you? They yeah, don't know. You, you, they can't see. They can't so sometimes see. people have a lot of information, but we're talking about going beyond just information. Information can come through your five senses, mm -hmm. but revelation knowledge comes from God, mm. comes from the Spirit of God, comes from the Word of God. So the Word is alive. It's more than just a history book. It's more than just learning facts and information. It is a revelation of God, a revelation of Christ. And so Paul says, I'm praying for you while well, you can pray this for yourself. Mm -hmm. And he prays a similar prayer in Colossians 1 mm -hmm. verse 9, where he says that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will, with all wisdom and spiritual understanding that you can walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. I just like the way he said that. <laughs> That you can increase, go see further, further light, further revelation. I like what one old preacher said. He said, most Christians never progress beyond their initial revelation of God. In other words, they kind of get in here. They used to, my daddy used to tell a story about the, the kid, you know, that fell out of the bed. They said, well, why did he fall out of the bed? Somebody <laughs> said, well, because he just stayed too close to where he got in. <laughs> he, got in he fell out. In other words, now that you're in Christ, go, go on, on into in go Christ. On in. Go on. There's further light, further revelation, enough to fascinate you. It'll capture your imagination. In other yeah. words, uh, the Word of God, the most fascinating. We'll listen to some people, you know, that are billionaires and they come up with all this knowledge and information. 
Wow, imagine what's in Ephesians, Colossians, and Romans, and Corinthians. Imagine what happens, Paul said, when someone prays in the Holy Spirit that they're speaking mysteries mm. or divine secrets to God and Amen. with God. Amen. Wow, so the Holy Spirit is the head of God's revelation department. Revelation. He's the spirit of yes. truth. He will guide you into all truth. And so there's freedom in every area that you see revelation from God. So the Holy Spirit, He's sent with that assignment. Right. And while you're talking about this, it's making me hungry. Yeah. Not for lunch, yeah. but hungry yeah. for more of Jesus know, and more of know knowing Christ. Him. Yeah. And this this is a, a very uh, ancient hunger. Wow. It came from all the way back, you know, yeah. Enoch walked with God. Yeah. You know, he walked on wow. up to heaven, and Abraham knew God. He stood mm. in the place and talked to God. Wow. Moses talked his friend to friend, you wow. know, and all of this. And David is called a man after God's heart, wow. you know, and he worshiped God. David said this, and you like this verse, like in it. Psalm 20, 25 and verse 14. I like it in the Amplified. It says, the secret. I like secrets. Yeah. The secret of the sweet, satisfying companionship of the Lord. Have they who fear, revere and worship him, and he will show them wow. his covenant and reveal to them its deep and inner meaning. And when I hear, hear these words, it makes me think of someone coming really close and lips said, let yeah. me show you something. Yeah. And they open up, wow. you know, something really a treasure. Mm -hmm. And uh, passion says it this way, Mark. It says, um, there's a private place yeah, reserved like mm -hmm. for the lovers of God, yeah. where they sit near him wow. and receive the revelation yeah. secrets of his <laughs> promise. <laughs> it almost sounds like uh, Mary and Martha, you know, yeah. and while Martha's in there all oh, trying to get all the food ready and Mary just sat at Jesus' feet just to hear his words. Mm -mm -mm. And so there's something about the word of God that is full of life and full of power and brings you revelation of God's ways and God's thoughts and literally a, a picture of Christ so that Jesus walks off the pages and your heart is on fire with his presence and the Amen. revelation of Christ. So, so Paul's Amen. prayer mm -hmm. is that God, Father God, I'm asking you to give unto me. And here in this case, he's praying for other believers to give unto them the spirit of wisdom. So if someone was struggling in some area of their life and didn't seem to have victory, how would you pray for them? You know, mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to gossip about them and go tell other people about what's wrong with them. No, I don't believe Paul was gossiping. No, you media. want to post things on about other people, what's wrong with people. You would pray, Father God, I'm asking you to give unto them the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of God, their eyes to be enlightened. In other words, each one of us can have an individual personal encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ through the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Actually, the whole Bible is, is written from this perspective of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. I mean, uh, Moses wrote uh, the first five books of the Bible. How did he write Genesis? Well, no, he wasn't there. Nobody was there in the beginning. God created that. So, yeah. so Moses must have been in his tent and, and God must have said, you want me to show you how I created the world? Uh, and God said, and God said, and he saw. And so Moses wrote that down. He saw creation. But Paul saw what happened when God raised Christ from the dead. He saw what happened through the blood covenant. He saw what happened in the death and the burial and the resurrection of Christ. He even saw what happened when Satan was defeated and Jesus spoiled principalities and powers. Imagine that you and I could get a view of how defeated Satan actually is, <laughs> that Jesus stripped him of his authority and now in the name of Jesus and by his blood, victory belongs to us. So this prayer is for a breakthrough in the spirit of wisdom and revelation. I believe this can happen until you're 70, 80, 
90, 100, or like Brother Copeland, go to 120 if you want to. In other words, I just believe further light and further revelation. And God said, I'll do it for you. I'm happy to do it for you. All you need to do is ask. Amen. Amen. And, and take some time. Sometimes our lives are so uh, busy and we got our list of things and we just need to put on our list, take time. Yeah. <laughs> time with the mm -hmm. Lord. And I remember one uh, season of my life, I was um, waiting on the Lord and I went to sleep mm. with him on my mind. Yeah. And I woke up with this song. It was going on in my heart. And mm. it said, time with you will never pass. Mm. The moment spent with him mm. will always last. You give me things from mm. eternity, so I will spend my time with you. So time with him is mm. where you physically stop and mentally yeah. and you, your spirit connects and you enter a realm of the mm. spirit of God, wow. which is called the eternal realm. Yeah. And that's where God is. That's where his word comes. That's where revelation flows. Wow. And that's where healing mm. flows. Yeah. Healing is revelation knowledge wow. of Jesus. He sent, Hallelujah. he sent his word yes. and it healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So the spirit of wisdom and revelation is a spiritual thing mm -hmm. and it changes the way you receive the word. In other words, how you receive the word is going to determine how you receive from God because God and his word are one. And so faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And then Paul tells the Thessalonians, you receive the word, not like a man was talking to you, but you receive the word like God was talking to you. He said, and that word works mightily and effectually in you. In other words, the same power that's in the event of the resurrection of Christ is actually in the message or in the word. It's called the word of his power. So the word, when it's engrafted in the believer, releases the same power that raised Christ from the dead. Tremendous power, enough power to undo everything Satan did in Adam, enough power to drive sickness out of your body, enough power to Amen. drive depression out of your mind, enough power to to put the devil on the run. <laughs> Amen. So this kind of power is available to every believer. It's stupendous. It's yeah. tremendous. Exceedingly it's great. Exceeding. There's just not it's... enough in the book, uh, this book, Revolutionary Revelation, which I want you to get. I've got a list of all the words, the, the, the adjectives of what God did when he raised Christ from the dead, exceeding great, unlimited, immeasurable power. And so I've got a list of all the different scriptures and the different adjectives what happened? There's he so says, many. unlimited, immeasurable, exceeding great, overmastering supremacy. In other words, Paul cannot find enough adjectives to describe what he saw when God raised Christ from the dead. And that power was released towards every believer. So there is no Amen. power shortage. Amen. There is only a revelation shortage. <laughs> In other words, Paul says there's no lack of power. There is simply a lack of knowledge, revelation knowledge. In other words, this is holy information. I like to say this information will change a nation, change a family. I believe the devil is more afraid of this revelation of Christ than anything in this world. Whole nations will not allow you to go preach the gospel in their country openly because they're afraid it will shape the whole nation, change the whole Amen. nation. Amen. And so this <laughs> information will change a nation. But all right, it's not just information. It's the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God and the eyes of your heart are flooded with light. That revelation changed Paul. Somebody said it changed Paul so much, knocked the S off the front of his name and put <laughs> P there. In other words, he's a different person. He went from Saul to Paul right then. He and, went from mad to glad. And if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature in Christ. <laughs> Old things have passed away and everything. Everything has become new. And so the revelation of what God has done and who we are and what we have in Christ and then live in the light of that. Yeah. So you would pray that prayer over 
and over again with your Bible open, if you need to open your Bible and look at it and say, God, this is what I'm asking you for, Amen. the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Remember, Solomon asked God for wisdom, yeah. and yeah. God said, because you ask for wisdom so you can serve your generation, he said, I'm not only going to give you wisdom, I'm going to make you the richest man who ever lived. I'm going to defeat all your enemies, and I'm going to give you long life. Wow. From wisdom, the principal mm -hmm. thing it says in Proverbs. So you're saying, Father God, I'm asking you for the spirit of wisdom, revelation, the knowledge of God. Wow. So, wow. We got to get this book here. <laughs> we just, we run out of time again, but we want you to get this book, Revolutionary Revelation, Breaking Barriers. You got the sound barrier getting broken here by Chuck Yeager going from Mach 1 to Mach wow. 2 to Mach so 3. Good. And so every breakthrough in faith will come from a breakthrough in revelation knowledge for your offering of any amount. In other words, if you want ever, you just say, I want that book. We'll send it to you from our office just as fast as we can. And you got to get this, read this backwards and forwards. Hallelujah. And I just have it so underlined. You just say, <laughs> wow. So God grants us access yes. to this information, secrets that will unlock the mysteries yes. of the will of God, the yes. plan of God, the provision of God in our lives. So you got to get the book for your offering of any amount. Amen. I just feel the Holy Spirit is speaking and uh, you, so there's a lot of destinies that are being changed, mm -hmm. futures yeah. that are being rearranged, yeah. some uh, assignments from the enemy that yeah. are just being obliterated yeah. by the knowledge of Jesus Christ yeah. and all that he has done wow. for you and provided for you yeah. in his death, burial, resurrection. What he did was not for himself. It yeah. was for you. He did it for And him. he did it so you can live in yeah. complete freedom and joy and yeah. enjoy your life. Yes. And it's more than just information. It's more than just intellect. He said, the eyes of your heart are flooded yes. with light. God does a new work in your heart and revelation knowledge changes you on the inside, sets your heart on fire, but it also changes your voice. It takes all the victim out of your voice, takes the whine out of your voice, and it puts confidence and faith in your voice. So I encourage you to get the book, Revolutionary Amen. Revelation. If you are not a partner, wow, if you are a partner, we thank you for, for being a monthly partner. You help us distribute the word in many languages and in many nations around the world. So we're praying that you'll become a partner. If you're not a partner, become a monthly partner. Your offering of any amount and just be faithful with it helps us preach the word and it grows and multiplies and our new conference center is close to being completed. And wow, we think in the next just couple of months, we'll have it all finished up and we're going to have a good time in that Can't conference wait. center. So thank yes. you for your partnership mm -hmm. with Mark Hankins Ministries. And so be sure and get this book, Revolutionary Revelation. And we're coming back real soon. And so until tomorrow, may God richly bless you. The greatest need of every believer is expressed in the prayers found in the chapters of Ephesians 1 and 3. Understand and experience the life-changing power in these prayers. Revelation from God fuse your dedication to God. In this new edition book by Pastor Mark Hankins, Revolutionary Revelation, Breaking Barriers, you will understand that every breakthrough in faith comes from a breakthrough in revelation knowledge. You don't need more power, you need more revelation knowledge. Revelation knowledge unlocks the power of God and every breakthrough in receiving the blessings of God. We also want to offer you four brand new messages titled Revolutionary Revelation, Breaking Barriers. These messages will help you understand the importance of revelation knowledge in your identity. When you have revelation from God, you will clearly see who you are in Christ. In these new teachings, you will understand what happened to Jesus in the death, burial, and resurrection, and how Jesus' victory becomes your victory. Get the book and CD set today. 
Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Jenna Hankins train believers around the world. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and be strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. For your gift of any amount, you will receive the book and the four CD set, Revolutionary Revelation, Breaking Barriers. Please call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you so much for joining us for the program today. We know that you were encouraged and you were strengthened in your faith by the message from my mom and dad. You know, one of my favorite subjects is the subject of revolutionary revelation. When you have a revelation from God, when you have a revelation of the Word of God, what it means to you, then it changes everything. One of my favorite quotes from this book is, in Christ you aren't fighting for victory, but from a place of victory. So this, this goes ahead and tells us, listen, you aren't trying to get the victory. You are not crying and whining and begging and pleading God for the victory. We are already fighting the fight of faith from a place of victory. If you want to know more about this subject, we want to offer you my dad's book, Revolutionary Revelation. This is our offer to you this week. And we want to get it to you for your gift of any amount plus shipping. So go to markhankins.org or call the number on the screen. Mark and Trina Hankins invite you to a Holy Ghost meeting, April 23rd through the 25th in Alexandria, Louisiana. There are certain gifts and callings that aren't activated until you are saturated with the Holy Spirit. You won't want to miss this event with powerful praise and worship, teaching in the morning services on the person and work of the Holy Spirit, and Holy Spirit demonstration in the evening services. Join us April 23rd through the 25th. For more information and to register, visit markhankins.org. My name is DC Bolin. This ministry and this meeting has been so pivotal for the whole trajectory of my life. I remember when I came here about six years ago for the first time, I was at a low point in life and the word that I received on generosity, the spirit of faith, the blood of Jesus, totally changed the trajectory of my life and future. So I just can't say enough good things about Pastors Mark and Trina. They've totally impacted me in endless ways. And you know, my life is just totally different than I ever could have imagined. I'm Daniel Walker. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, and this is our very first time here at the Supernatural Leadership Conference. And I gotta say that we have thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. We are refreshed in the Lord. Uh, the anointing of God is here. The presence of God is here. We really, really enjoyed the teaching um, from Pastor Mark and Pastor Trina as well. Um, it's just been a wonderful experience all around. Uh, the, the anointing is fresh, it's relevant, uh, it's on time, and we plan to bring that same anointing back with us wherever we go. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Join Mark and Trina Hankins for an hour of powerful teaching live Monday through Friday on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Everyone can join In Christ Bible School. Catch the spirit of faith and move the mountains in your life. Watch live wherever you are and learn who you are in Christ. That's live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. Thank you for watching.